So this location holds a big secret in Tears of the Kingdom, and it's going to be one of the most powerful duplication glitches in version 1.1.2. Let me show you exactly how to get this all set up so you can go ahead and start duplicating items. In order to access this location, you're going to need 10 hearts. And in order to get 10 hearts, which is pretty easy, you're going to have to have completed 24 shrines since initially the game has already given you four hearts. I covered this quest line in another video, but I'll share with you the intro part of it. This will require you to fly over Dragonhead Island. This questline requires you to do a lot of the main story in order to clear the clouds and the sky in this area. However, I'm going to make your life a lot easier. All you have to do is go to Rebella Wetlands Skyview Tower during the day. This is going to be important because it's going to help us see through these rain clouds later. And all you have to do is jump up in the air and start paragliding to the smaller storm clouded island. You can just follow my link as he is heading towards this small cloud. To help make this a little easier, you might need some stamina food or have a little bit of a higher stamina, but that's pretty much all you need to do and it's not that difficult. Once you get really close to the island, you're then going to notice that you can peek through the little bit of the storm cloud. Go ahead and just mark up that little structure that is on the map. And then once you approach the ground and walk towards it, you're gonna notice it's getting very rainy. Just go ahead, walk into that area and then drop down and you're going to see the shrine that is right below you. That is gonna be the Joku U Shrine. And you're gonna go ahead and activate that. That way you have a fast teleport in order to get over here. After you do that, just go ahead and break these little twigs or vines over here and move forward until you approach a door. Now this is where the 10 hearts is going to matter because when you place your hands on the door, it's going to try to use your hearts. Once you do that, the door will open and you're gonna find a mask in front of you, which is going to start this secret quest line, which again, I mentioned, I have a whole video for this. You're gonna interact with the mask. I'm not gonna show anything for that. And doors are gonna open up and the mask is gonna have a beam pointing all the way down towards the location you have to go. Once you arrive at that location, you're gonna have a cutscene that skips you and brings you all the way down somewhere. Don't worry about all that. You can, you can place this head where it needs to go in the quest line and come right back up to this spot. And that spot is going to be known as the Tobio's Hollow Chasm, which is located right over here on my map. So pretty much you want to come back over here where you were initially where a cutscene happened. Now this again is going to be the Tobio's Hollow Chasm and you're returning right to the spot and we're going to just go down here. Just make your way down right through here. And last time you touched the mask, it activated when you place it here. But this time we're going all the way down here. Now, the interesting part about this area is that it's kind of an in-between land between the depths and the surface. And that's pretty much what's going to be causing this whole entire glitch to happen. And you know you're currently in the right spot when you notice that the environment does change. So we're just going to go ahead and continue to move down right over here. And then you'll notice the shift in environment right there. You see that the little the little the little change here. So what I like to do and what I suggest everyone does is go ahead and place a traveler's medallion in this spot. Now, once you got that all sorted out or you have these coordinates marked, there's one more thing we have to do in order to pull off this glitch. And that's going to be getting a multi shot arrow because that's definitely going to be needed in order to pull this off. So let me go ahead and show you how to get one real quick. In order to get yourself a multi shot bow, all you have to do is just fight any Lionel in the game. Really, it's that simple. It doesn't matter which one because all of them are going to be able to drop three shot multi bows. And that's what we really need in order to pull off this duplication glitch. So go ahead and kill a Lionel off if you want all the Lionel locations on the map. I have an entire video showing you every single spot where you can find a Lionel. We'll then kill that Lionel, take the multi-shot bow right off of it. And then after you get that multi-shot bow, go ahead and make your way over to Elden Mountain. Now in Elden Mountain, there's going to be a bunch of Octo Rocks in the area. And the ones I'm heading to are marked by diamonds here on my map. So you're going to go to your first Octo Rock. You're going to throw down your bow and then the Octo Rock's going to suck it up. And as it sparkles, you can go ahead and kill it and it'll drop the first modifier. The first modifier will always be a white or blue modifier, but we're going to need a gold modifier in order to get a five shot. So then go and head over to a second Octo Rock. Once you make your way over to a second Octo Rock, make sure you place yourself right in front of it and save your game. Saving is going to be very important because if you get the wrong modifier on it, you can reload and try again. So keep doing this until you get a second modifier that says 
five shot. This took me about two times, but then I got my five shot modifier. Once you get your five shot boat, you can just go ahead and look at that. It'll say it right there that it's a five multi shot. Then you can go ahead and use your traveler's medallion to get right back to the spot where I'm gonna show you now what we can do with this glitch. Before you start shooting your bow off and, and duplicating things, make sure to just go ahead and save your game just in case you mess up or something happens to any of your materials. It's always great to save before you perform a glitch of any type in this game. All right, now we're back at our location and let's go ahead and equip our five shot bow. There we go. There's the line of bow. Now, what we're going to be doing is duplicating items by just selecting any material you want. Now, some of these items are going to be really interesting to try and dupe. So bomb flowers, you can actually dupe them. Uh, so you can see I have five bomb flowers here and I'm just going to whoop. And you can see that they just froze midair in this spot. Now you can try to go for multiple, but the problem is when bomb arrows make contact on the floor, they could fall and blow up on each other. So you, you have to aim lower at the surface in order to get them. So there we go. That's a nice clean duplication of some bomb arrows right there. And you can see that my inventory now is at 14 for these things. Now just go back to your spot. So wherever you drop that Traveler's Medallion, I would say that's the best spot to start shooting from. Uh, and let's go ahead and dupe some the famous diamonds, right? So the most you want to go for over here is about four at a time. What I mean by this is one shot, Two shot. Three shot. And four shots. Because about 21 items, it's going to start despawning. And the moment you start moving towards them, they're all just going to fall. So just go ahead and, and pick them all up. And now you can see the items has increased now to 38. So you do make some good money here. It's not as powerful as the 1.1.1 shield jump or paraglide glitch, but you know what? You still get good stuff here and 1.1.2 players can definitely benefit. And this also works with Gibdo Bones. Now Gibdo Bones sometimes act a little funky, but you get like three. So for some reason I noticed it's some decided to break, but it does work for some Gibdo Bones and then they all fall down and you can grab some of these. So that's another one that behaves a little bit weird. Now, something else you can do this with, if you haven't by now increased your Zonite battery all the way up, this is also going to be very good for your Zonite duplication. That way you can go ahead and get your battery up. I think that's the most important thing to do with these glitches. Get your battery up and get your money up. Let's try some Zonite charges. Oh yeah, these are, these are definitely staying. And now I definitely have way more than I started with. Just be careful because... They're going to fall. All right, so there's some large zone eight charges and you can see now I have a lot more. So zone eight devices, as you can see, are not going to be really as functional when it comes to doing this glitch. Also, this is going to be very good for items like the Silver Lionel Saber Horn or really expensive monster parts. So you could just aim. Sometimes you get a little break, but you're still going to have more than you previously started with. And since I lost about, yep, there we go. So it's about three, six, nine, 12, 18. I should be able to get one more actually because they're all breaking. There we go. Three, six, nine, 12, 18. 21. That's actually the full amount number you need, and you can't go further than that. So you'll notice that some do break, some items do break. So you'll max, you can get three out of them possibly. So keep that in mind. You can experiment with them and see which ones are the best ones and make sure to comment down below and let me know which ones that you'll be duping. But this should definitely help you guys out in 1.1.2. So make sure to subscribe to see the latest glitches and check out this video because you might find some really interesting things here that you can probably do.